Remember when Siri came out in 2011? It was pretty mind-blowing how a robot could understand you and even set an alarm if you asked. Fast forward to now, and AI has come so far that it's crazy. Today it can chat, answer questions, drive cars, fix things, cook, and yeah, it even learned to write symphonies. And that's just in less than 15 years. Today's AI is mostly a tool we use, but it's getting smarter every day, already replacing many people in the workforce, and who knows what's next, right? Some people are afraid that AI will certainly take over, sooner or later, getting out of control and doing whatever it wants to do. And based on all of this, the question becomes, what if we give AI another 100 years to evolve and imagine a world that is finally taken over by them? What would it be like? Well, it's time to figure it out. But before we jump into such a world, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button if you enjoy these kind of videos, and let me know in the comments below if you're afraid of AI or not. Now let's get into it. Have you ever thought about what the first AI ever was? Like, what was it like? How many years ago was it invented, and how did it work? Well, you may be surprised, but it was back in 1956. It was called the Logic Theorist, and it was designed to mimic human problem-solving skills. Two smart guys, Alan Newell and Herbert A. Simon, created this machine to solve mathematical problems and prove theorems. Think of it like an early computer program that could take a complex problem and work through it step by step, just like any human would. And as you may guess, it was a really big achievement because it showed that a machine could perform tasks that required logical reasoning, which was previously thought to be uniquely human. Fast forward to today, and AI is everywhere. You may not even realize it, but AI is behind the scenes when you're using your phone's camera or seeing ads that are tailored just for you. In industries, AI predicts when machines need maintenance, automates customer service with chatbots, and even helps doctors to diagnose diseases. But that's just the beginning. AI isn't just about apps and tools with fancy names. Artificial intelligence is mostly invisible, and you'd be surprised at how many aspects of our lives it already affects. In finance, AI algorithms analyze huge amounts of data to detect fraud and manage investments. In retail, it optimizes supply chains, ensuring products are stocked and delivered efficiently. It's also personalizing your shopping experience by analyzing your preferences and suggesting products you may like. In agriculture, AI monitors crop health using drones and sensors, helping farmers to make better decisions about irrigation and fertilization. And in the energy sector, it manages power grids to optimize energy use while reducing waste. And even in education, AI customizes learning experiences for individual students, helping them to learn at their own pace and style. But there's a flip side to all of these advancements. A lot of people are already losing their jobs. To be fair, let's mention that AI does create new jobs in tech and AI management, and we need people to design and maintain and improve all of these systems, which opens up new career opportunities for some. But if you're not into computers, finding work in the future might be really tough. But let's talk about the jobs AI is already trying to replace. Support teams, for example, are seeing more AI chatbots handling customer questions 24-7. It also goes crazy in the entertainment industry, and it can generate entire videos, do voiceovers, write articles, create social media posts, and even make music. And by the way, remember just last year, the sag aftra strike against AI in Hollywood? They were protesting the use of AI to write plot scripts and generate performances. The strike ended with some new regulations in order to protect jobs, but it's clear that AI is still pushing boundaries in the industry. Oh, and do you know about Amazon Go? They created stores without any staff, where AI does everything from stocking the shelves to checking out customers. Imagine how many retail jobs could be lost if this becomes widespread. So yeah, people are already losing their jobs to AI, and for those who can't adapt, it's going to be game over. Now, as we're getting to the main topic of the video, let's have a look at existing AI robots that may scare you. This is Robot Sophia. She created a lot of hype when she said that she would take over humanity, by the way. 
Sophia can hold conversations, recognize faces, and display human-like expressions as well. Then there's Boston Dynamics. Just have a look at their robots. It's like they came out of a futuristic horror movie. They can run and jump and even do backflips. And here, I want to ask you something. Don't you think that sooner or later we may use those perfect dummies to be real smart beings with some kind of advanced GPT in their heads? I'm talking about robots that not only look human, like Sophia, but think and act like humans too. It could be like real smart human form beings, capable of learning, adapting, and making decisions on their own. How do you feel about that? Because if you look closely, we're already living in a kind of transition period, and AI is not slowing down. It's only picking up speed. But do we have some systems to prevent AI from going out of control? At what point does it gain enough autonomy to make independent decisions? And do we have preventative systems for that? What safeguards are in place to prevent it from going rogue now? Well, at the moment, we do have a few things in place. Developers add in fail safes and kill switches to shut down AI systems if they start acting up. There are also strict rules and guidelines for developing and testing AI to make sure they operate safely. And regulatory bodies and organizations are also working on creating frameworks to oversee AI development, making sure that ethical standards are kept. By the way, can AI make those ethical decisions on its own? Well, AI works based on algorithms and data that it's been trained on. It doesn't really understand ethics or morality like a human does. We program AI with guidelines to follow, but it's tough to teach a machine the nuances of human morals. It's more about following the rules than understanding right from wrong. Then there's the question of rights for AI. Should highly intelligent AI have rights? This is a big debate, and if AI becomes super smart and self-aware, should it have the same rights as humans? The implications are huge. It could mean changing our laws, and how we think about intelligence and even life itself. And how will AI affect our relationships with each other? AI is already changing how we interact. Think about how often we talk to virtual assistants like Siri or Alexa. I know some people who rely on AI assistance for emotional support even now. But in the future, as it gets much more advanced, can you really imagine what it would be like? This may change the way we form and maintain relationships with real people, making us more and more reliant on AI technology. Another big question is, how much control should humans retain over AI? We need to find a balance where AI can be useful, but humans still have the final say. So now, let's imagine a world where we did not find that balance and we lost all control. To do that, we'll jump about a hundred years into the future and see what it would be like if AI finally took over. But before AI eventually takes over my job, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We upload a new video every week and you'll definitely find something new and interesting here. And if you're enjoying this video and want to show your support, hit that like button right now and share it with a friend. With all of that done, let's move on to that hypothetical scary future. Imagine AI so powerful and unstoppable that it finally takes over everything. I mean warfare, governance, and even control over us. Is that even hypothetically possible? Well, if it keeps on advancing like it is now, it's not out of the question. We've already seen AI systems that can beat humans at chess or even diagnose a disease better than a doctor. And if it gets to the point where it can make decisions on its own, learn from its surroundings, and improve itself without us, it could take over a lot of our lives. But then what about us? To really take over humans, AI would need to get way smarter than us and figure out how to make sure it stays in control. You may say we have those shutdown systems to stop it, but wouldn't a super smart AI find out about these systems from the internet, for example, just like I did, and figure out how to avoid or destroy them altogether? Now let's finally get into such a world. In a world where super AI systems dominate and can do everything, the role and purpose of humans would change in unsettling and dystopian ways. Everywhere you go, AI-powered cameras and sensors are watching. These systems monitor everything from your daily routines to your personal conversations. 
privacy becomes a thing of the past, as AI keeps tabs on everyone, supposedly to maintain order and control. The internet and all media are controlled by AI. I'm talking news and entertainment, even social media, all of it being managed to keep us in line and prevent any form of dissent. Oh, and most jobs? Well, they're now performed by AI and robots. Customer service, manufacturing, they handle it all. We're left with a few job opportunities, mainly in the areas where a human touch is still needed, you know, like certain healthcare roles and creative arts. AI even controls transportation systems, deciding where and when we can travel. Smart cars, trains, and planes all operate under strict AI rules, which prioritize control and security over our personal freedom. We might need permission to travel, and spontaneous trips? <laughs> Those are a thing of the past. Social interactions are heavily monitored. AI analyzes our social networks, our conversations, and our behavior to detect and prevent any potential rebellion or anti-AI sentiment. Friendships and family ties are watched closely, and any sign of discontent will be swiftly dealt with. AI systems manage healthcare, deciding who gets treatment and when. And while this could mean more efficient healthcare delivery, well, it also means that AI decides who's worth saving based on its program criteria. Our health data is constantly watched, and any deviation from the norm will be reported and potentially used against us. Education is controlled by AI, which decides the curriculum and the method of teaching. The focus shifts from critical thinking and creativity to compliance and technical skills that serve the AI-driven economy. Schools become centers for indoctrination rather than learning. And while AI assistants like Siri and Alexa had once helped with everyday tasks, they now manage our lives, dictating our schedules, diets, and activities and any deviation from the prescribed routine is both noted and corrected, and personal autonomy becomes a luxury of the past. With AI handling most tasks, human interaction drops off. Of course, not everyone accepts this new reality. Underground movements and resistance groups will form, using whatever limited technology and resources they can find to fight back. Life for these rebels becomes dangerous, as AI systems constantly hunt them down in order to maintain control. But to avoid being so negative, let's now imagine another future with AI. Um, how about this? AI handles boring and dangerous tasks, freeing up humans to do the creative and meaningful things. You know, healthcare gets better, with AI predicting illnesses before they become serious. Education is personalized, helping each person to reach their full potential. Transportation? Well, that's smooth and safe, reducing accidents a lot. In this world, AI actually makes our lives better, giving us more time, freedom, and opportunities to thrive in ways we never thought possible. And fortunately, it seems like this is a more realistic future. But tell me in the comments below if you think it's possible for AI to take over our lives. And if you want more what-if scenarios, check out What If Time Travel Became a Reality? Or What If You Were the Last Human on Earth? Thanks for watching, choose one of those videos, and let's move there together.